And Smith able to knock down the three. Here's Hicks with the reverse underneath, lays it up and in on a great feed from Jackson Cartwright. Tony Hicks with his first bucket of the night, and he gives the Quakers a 6-5 lead. Good things happen when you're the screener. Darian Nelson Henry sets the screen for Hicks, then dives the lane, finds himself wide open. Here's a three from the top of the key for Dwight Tarwater. 33% from behind the arc, and he pulls Cornell to within two, or excuse me, within one at nine to eight. Well, Hicks goes to Jackson Cartwright, left wing. Cartwright puts it on the floor. Jackson Cartwright looks to pick up a Nelson Henry screen. One bounce to Nelson Henry on the baseline, goes to a charging Dockerty through the lane, lay it up and in, and a foul. So Derek throws a bounce pass there, it's probably a layup. 14-10, Penn leads this one by four. Here's Darrell Smith who gets free with a lane to the basket and dunks with two hands. Fran Dockerty over committing to the hedge. Hands it off to Hatter, shot clock at 22. Hatter straight away, guarded by Hicks, picks up the screen. Hatter comes to the foul line, now goes on to the right side to Cherry. Cherry jump stop in the lane, kicks it out far corner. Darrell Smith goes baseline, goes off the window for an acrobatic oh, shot to tie the, the game at 14. On to the right side to Kressler who goes baseline. Sees Darian Nelson Henry, so he shovels a pass baseline to Selfo far side. It comes back to Kressler, near wing three ball, and he gets the roll. 26-24. Shot won't go, tip drill, that won't go. Ball still loose, it's grabbed by Cherry. He'll fire up a three, back of the rim, no good. Rebound bounced around, grabbed by Dockerty. Off to Jackson Cartwright, Quakers on the run. Jackson Cartwright into the forecourt. Lock and load, three ball, come on! Miles Jackson Cartwright, the triple from the top. I said, well, if that's what you can get. And Cornell can win. And Penn looking to do it right now. Steal off the inbounds. Miles Cartwright. Got it that's off the window. Out. How about it? So Cornell throws it away off the inbound. This follow won't go. And the rebound to Kressler. Quickly up ahead to Smith. Smith through the lane. A wild shot up. No good. Rebound comes back to Kressler. He'll go off the window for two. Cornell by Nolan Kressler. And now a turnover as Dockerty went to inbound it. He tried to pull it back as it was leaving his hand. Hatter to Tarwater, 18 to shoot. Tarwater top of the key, hands it off to Cherry. Looks to penetrate, nothing there. Back to Tarwater straight away. Tarwater puts it on the floor, drives. Shot over Dockerty, no good, but it, Onora with the offensive rebound and a two-handed dunk to make it 57-40. Jackson Cartwright to Renard who penetrates. Renard drops it off to Henry Brooks. Reverse Henry layup, Brooks. good for two. Great look by Renard. Nice job by Brooks, he was at a tough angle, but Kressler back the other way for Cornell, and he beats everyone to the ball and to the hole and lays it up for two. Died to Devin Cherry, he can't control, but he gets it back before he falls out of bounds, and Cornell now works it around the perimeter. Kressler right side, fires a three and buries it. And now Penn wants a timeout as their lead has been cut down to eight with 11.53 left in this one. Penn needs a good possession here. Here's Set Hicks. play again, trying to get Fran Doherty on the post. Skip pass to Jackson oh, Cartwright. Right, three. Three. Parries the triple from the far side. A much needed three to make it 69 61. Here's Jackson Cartwright straight away. One bounce to Renard right side. He'll fire a three. Tough luck on that one. And Cherry the rebound for Cornell. Here's Cherry on the run for the big red. Cherry through the lane, lays it up and in, and a foul. Chance for the three point play. They're going to get Renard on a block. And Fran, and now here's a turnover right off the inbound. Renard takes it, goes in for two. Tarwater inbounded in. It looked like Hatter tripped, and it just bounced around in the backcourt, and Renard gets the layup. Tony Hicks left side, decides to pull the trigger on a three, and buries it. Gave a little ball fake, wasn't sure if he was going to do it. He said, what the heck, and he... Pushes the lead back out to 10, 76-66. And now back the other way, Kressler with a scoop underneath. Lemoore's all by himself, and he dunks with two hands for the big run. Grabbed by Cherry into the forecourt. With 42 seconds, Cherry looks to penetrate through the lane, or layup through the trees with reverse spin, and he gets it to go, and Cornell calls an immediate timeout with 39.1 seconds left. Intelligent conservative talk. Streaming live at TuneIn.com and on iHeartRadio. NASDAQ symbol, S-A-L-M. The Cherry to midcourt. Cherry at the buzzer. No good, and that'll do it. 90-83 to 83 is your final score. The Penn Quakers improved to 2-2 two and two in the Ivy League. They are 5-13 and 13 overall. They defeat the Big Red 90-83. to 83. Cornell falls to 1-18 on the season.